Hi guys! So today I wanted to do a Halloween look for you that isn't actually that hard to do, doesn't take too much time, and doesn't use too many materials, so it's actually pretty easy to recreate. I've been wanting to do a burnt zombie ever since I saw one on The Walking Dead, and a really simple way to get that tasty, crispy effect is just by building up tissue and latex. So I've already applied a bald cap to save time, but I'll leave you some useful links teaching you how to do that down below in case you need to know. So I'm going to start with the mouth area. I'm first applying liquid latex around the outside of the lips, and then I'm layering kitchen roll or tissue on top, and then applying latex over the top of that as well. You could also use cotton wool for this, but I figure that more people are going to have access to loo roll or kitchen roll. So you just want to do this all the way around the mouth, ignoring the lips, and preferably not eating any of it. While you're going through this process and while the latex is drying, make sure that you open your mouth a few times, move your jaw around and smile and whatnot. Then you know you're still going to be able to drink and uh, speak and whatever once it's dried. Another tip, if you want to avoid pulling out any facial hair or peach fuzz when you've removed the latex, I recommend applying a thin layer of Vaseline on the area that you're going to apply the latex to. And I'll explain how to deal with larger areas of hair, like the eyebrows later on. Then once I have that base around my mouth, I'm going to go ahead and add some fake teeth. I'm using spirit gum to attach these, I'm applying it on both surfaces, so the latex on my face and then the back of the tooth as well. Then you want to allow it to dry and get tacky, or tap it to speed up that process, and then the two surfaces are going to stick really nicely together. You can also attach them with the liquid latex if you don't want to buy any additional products. So I use these resin teeth from Amazon. If you don't have time to order these, or you don't want to order these, alternatively you can go to a beauty supply shop or a supermarket usually and pick up some fake nails. Then you can just cut them down into tooth shapes and you'll be good to go. So once they're stuck on, you also want to anchor them in to make sure that they don't go anywhere. So I'm taking a strip of tissue and I'm just layering this over the bottom of the teeth and I'm making sure that latex goes right between the teeth too and it also works really nicely as a receding gum line. And after adding this little anchor here, they really were solidly in there, so this would last you an entire evening probably. So usually when stuff dies, it shrivels up, right? When you see an old zombie, the lips are dehydrated and peeled back, so you could do that kind of thing with tissue too. Then now, all you need to do is go crazy with tissue and latex, just randomly all over your face and your head and I guess your body too, if you're going to wear this as a costume. Again, make sure you apply Vaseline to any hairy parts to avoid just sheer pain and sadness when it comes to removing it. But then, that's really all there is to it. You can also use this technique with the tissue and the latex to make wounds too. You can build up the sides, or you can apply a flat layer and then carefully cut a hole in the middle and then fill the space in the middle with blood. It's simple, but it's definitely effective. So with the brows here, I applied the Vaseline through them first and then I applied a piece of tissue big enough to cover the brows over the top. I just used the stickiness from the Vaseline to kind of hold it in place. And then I applied the latex around the edges instead of right over the middle where the hair is. You could also do a second layer exactly like this, and then you can go over it with the tissue and the latex and add some texture there if you wanted to, but I just decided to block them out instead. Another thing you can do to hide the brows is the popular glue stick method. Then you would have that nice barrier and you could apply your latex and tissue right over the top of that. So once all that tissue and latex is on there and it's dry, you want to go ahead and apply a flat red colour all over. Because we're applying over a lumpy surface, you really want to smush the paint in there and make sure you fully cover everything. I'm using Snazaroo's water-based paint in the colour burgundy. The standard red was a bit too bright for what I wanted, but it would still work, so just use whatever you have and whatever you can get your hands on. Moving back to the mouth, I'm adding some black face paint around the base of the teeth and then just blending that out by tapping it with my finger. Make sure to get behind the teeth as well and cover up your lip to keep the illusion of this new mouth being our actual mouth. I'm also going to apply some black to the nose and around the eyes too. 
For the eyes and the lips, you could use a black eyeshadow and a black lipstick if you have them, and then that way the colour on those two areas is going to last longer instead of fading or creasing. But don't worry if you don't have either product, this isn't exactly a neat put together kind of look, so if the makeup becomes distressed through wearing it, it's going to look fine. Next you want to take that black paint and go over everything again, but don't smush it down too hard this time. You want the black to sit on top of the texture, and then for that red at the lowest points to peek through. If you do end up applying too much black, you can wait for it to dry and then apply the red over the top and basically try it again. The red will obviously then be a deeper red, but it's still going to work, so don't feel worried about going straight in with the black, because I know it can be quite intimidating the first time you put that sponge down, but just know you can fix it, so just go for it. So those teeth were looking a little too pearly white for a zombie, so I added some yellow tooth enamel and I blended that out with my finger. Next I added a brown tooth enamel between the teeth because this is where um, teeth usually get stains and build up. Then I took that black face paint again and I just cleaned up that gum line and cleaned up any of the enamel I'd accidentally got on there. Don't worry if you don't have tooth enamels though, I know it's not a regular thing to have just laying around in your house for most people. So you can use a brown eyeshadow or a face paint instead. Or you can even make a little paste with coffee and then you'll have the sweet, sweet smell of coffee in your nose instead of horrendous latex. But then that's it. Even though this look has so many less steps than the looks I usually do, I usually like really big, complicated projects. It was so much fun to do and I think it looks really effective. So I hope you liked it and I hope you'll give it a go. Make sure to send me photos if you do. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll speak to you next time.